Okay, let's learn stuff. This is going to be structures of poetry and drama. It's like middle school level. Some interesting stuff here. What is an I am? So that is a bunch of syllables. So that's a short syllable followed by a long syllable. It doesn't have to do with a vowel or consonant. Remember, syllables are like the little pieces of words that um, they sound like little units. A Shakespearean sonnet. A sonnet is a type of poem that has a particular rhyming pattern, and the rhymes are at the end of each line. And this weird lettering here represents the different lines and whether they rhyme. So A has a word at the end of that line, the first line, that will rhyme with the third line. So this is saying the first line of the third line rhyme, and the second line of the fourth line rhyme, and then the fifth and the seventh, etc., etc., and then the last two lines kind of cap it all off with a double rhyme, both lines rhyme. And that, in fact, is the way a sonnet goes. It's uh, this line, then the next line doesn't rhyme, and then the next line rhymes with the previous line, or the previous, previous line. <clears throat> so that is the correct answer, A, B, A, B, and then to G, G at the end. And what is a quatrain? Well, qua kind of to me sounds like four quadrant. So it's four something, not syllables in this case. Um, four poems is a lot. Um, it's actually four lines of verse within a poem or a type of poem. How many lines does the sonnet have? Well, if you remember back from what we just saw, uh, there's actually 14 lines. There's three groups of four and then two rhyming lines at the end. What is the form of a line of poetry written in iambic pentameter? <clears throat> well, there's a clue here, and we see that pent means five in Greek, like a pentagon, and an iam is a pair of syllables where the second syllable is stressed. So five pairs of syllables with the accent, accent on the end of each pair. That is it. They're not has doesn't have to do in this case with rhyming. So iambic pentameter is like ba bump ba bump ba bump ba bump ba bump. Wow, if I get if I did it right, it's five five times. And you know it if you heard it in a poem. Nice. First level done. Second level. Here we go. Assonance. Now this is interesting. I didn't know this one before, but it's um, consonants um, <clears throat> or alliteration is repetition of a, the syllable consonants. This is about vowels. Assonance. And let's see, repetition of vowel sounds within words. So this is not between words, but vowels within words. That is the correct answer. Soliloquy, you just kind of kind of know this one. This is a person talking to themselves. And it's a speech in which a character talks to him or herself. And it's not a speech talking to somebody else. It's a dialogue. Um, and it's not um, no dialogue. You're actually talking to yourself. Just a fancy fancy way of saying talking to yourself. And aside, kind of think of this as a character. You can think of, uh, you know, Romeo or Juliet on stage and they turn aside and they actually talk to the audience. So that's make a comment to the audience. It might be something to explain what's going on that couldn't be explained by dialogue in the play. A stanza, uh, that is a chunk of a poem. So a distinct set of lines in a poem. Poem is awfully organized and broken up by stanzas. Alliteration, uh, this is where consonants are uh, repeated. Initial consonants sounds um, like silly string or in fact like consonant, crazy consonants. Uh, two consonants in a row. That's it. Great job. You're done. Go learn.